My only clues are a tarnished metal key stamped with 606 and a hunch that it might unlock the door to my room. The empty campus looks vaguely familiar. I wander until dark and finally enter a dorm at random. The door sills are numbered with magic marker, but in no order. 701 is next to 596, which is next to 1142. I finally find 606, but the beds are made and there's luggage on the floor and four guys are having a party. And then I wake up and head downstairs to make coffee. During an interview with Terry Gross, Billy Collins divided his poems into two groups. Those he wrote before he found his voice, imitations of other poets he admired, and those he wrote after, poems only he could have written. I like that, and I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who could have created my Lost Dreams series. All of the images in this series are based on recurring dreams I've had since childhood. Dreams where I'm lost, abandoned, or rejected, and searching for family, shelter, or home. It took me almost a year to make the connection between these dreams and my earliest images from Karen Rosenthal's Beyond the Pose workshops. But once I did, photographing solitary, vulnerable figures wandering through unfamiliar dreamlike environments made sense. <laughs>